smooth. Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I am now shaved and raring to go. Oh, I know about the Heath. I've explained the Heath before. It is probably one of the worst lies in the entire game, if not the worst lie to get into. And it is all over this course. In fact, you're looking at a lot of the Heath right here. And here, and here, and here. <laughs> anyway, uh, that does sound pretty good to hear about that. No, 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 no. Dang you and your practice rounds. Always play the tournament. Always. <laughs> Mm, well, <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> oh, come on now. The, let's let's get real here. <laughs> mm, yeah, that is true. If you ever played a Lynx course in real life, you will be buffeted by the wind the entire time. <laughs> anyway, singles tourney time. I decided to save the other mini games at the practice area for later because I don't know if they're gonna take me anywhere close to as long as they did the putting challenge did so I thought I would give myself a little bit of a break here and demolish the Lynx course or well demolish it as good as I can and I love the music of this one my favorite song in the game actually um so, see these bluish-greenish patches of fairways that are up ahead of this curse here? That's called a fast fairway. I explained that before, and that it just make, keeps the ball continually rolling for a lot longer than normal. I'll see if I can get my ball to land on it. I should say, end up hitting it, and then I'll show you how far it goes. See, it's on it. It's going. It's going. Still going. <laughs> so be very careful with these fast fairways, because you can be inside like you land it on the fast fairway and then end up in a bunker or in some in the water or in heath, you know, whatever. Basically, it, it all depends on how hard you hit it. I guess you could say, and well, that's, I guess you could say that's with uh, any sort of golf shot. But in the case of fast fairway, it's another sort of kind of thing that you gotta learn how to gauge. But anyway, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so what was that they were saying about no one shooting good on their first round through here? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give them that because technically this isn't my first round on the Lynx course. And when I first played it on the Game Boy Color, I did have a lot of difficulty with it. But, you know, from a story standpoint, this is technically Ella's first play. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try to use the fast fairway to my advantage here to get some more distance, bounce off it. Go all the way over, look at that. I smoked that one. <laughs> uh, I still can't reach the green in two though, because this hole is really long. Uh, I will get myself nice and close. Oh, miss it. I will get myself nice and close here though. Uh, hopefully the fast fairway I can use to my advantage here. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> I didn't think it would turn out that good. <laughs> Well, it did, and it looks like I've got an eagle. Three under, through two holes. Yeah, I'm liking the looks of that. <laughs> Hole three, par three. This is a, kind of a tricky par three, because there's not really much of a landing area. And I should really stop using those power shots again, because I noticed I used two already. So I'm just going to try and control it with super backspin, rather than power increasing the trajectory. I think this is too much. Well, eh, that's... That's not bad, I guess. It's just that I, I didn't really have all that much to work with, and yeah. Anyway, I gotta switch to a middle putt, because it's partially uphill. I moved it a little smidge to the left, I think. Yeah, yeah, a little bit to the left, and that's too hard. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that's all right. <sighs> I guess. I guess. The Lynx course is one of the game's hardest courses, by the way, so... Don't expect to shoot your best score at this course, as it's pretty much doom all over the place. Like, all, look at all this heath all over the place. It is nastiness and a half. I'm gonna head over there to the left side of that one heath fluffer and hope that it goes up the hill. It should go up the hill, though. And, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Right on the fast fairway. Perfect position. Yeah, that Lynx course 
kind of makes me feel like I'm doing a lot of trick shots in order to pull off stuff, and I do actually need a power shot. Well, can I... Well, I guess I could run it on the green. Uh, I will take the higher trajectory, though, just, just to control it a little bit, but I, I think this is going to end up running off the back, probably, or off the side. Well, eh, things are turning a, lo a lot better than I'm expecting today. <laughs> I mean, I gave that one a lot, a lot I mean, granted I gave that one a lot of room to run and all, but still, still, anyway, birdie time, four under through four holes, sadly one of them was a par, one of them was an awesome eagle, <laughs> that was actually probably one of the best eagles I've ever made, even though I, I feel it was sort of luckish in a way, because, I, I don't know, it, it just didn't feel like that was how the shot was supposed to go, but anyway. I should be focusing on the shot at hand, and not the shot that I am, um, you know, already did. And oh, pot bunker! No, 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 no! no. Mm. <laughs> well, I was a little bit off on that, so it looks like I'm not making the screen in two. I will be able to get myself in good position for par, though. Uh, yeah, just kind of surprised that the ball went that far that it ended up in the pot bunker. And anyway, a little bad lie on the fairway, but. Might not matter that much. Uh, I'm just gonna hit it there. And a gentle little bit of backspin to control it. You know this shot from my approach shot practice challenges. Yeah, of course I'm gonna get within 10 feet. And there we go. For power, nice and safe. Moving on. Oh, that fast fairway in front of the green is really mean. And this hole is really long for a par 3. So what I'm going to try and do here is get as much trajectory as I can off this and hit it into the fast fairway, but I'm going to super backspin it. This is just what I'm visualizing with my current character stats. So let's see how it goes. It's going to hit the fast fairway, it's going to bounce far. Oh yeah! My visualizations came true. <laughs> right on the middle of the flat spot. And you know I love those flat spots. Like that one, I'm gonna aim for the flat spot on the left side of the hole. But, uh, well, we'll come to that when we get there. Right now, this is, yeah, a lot of wind. And a, kind of a tricky landing area, because there's a mound plus the bunker and all the heath. So I'm just gonna try and control it with super backspin. Because I, I definitely have to get the ball out there far enough, because this hole is longer than what the yard just says at the left side. Because you have to hit off to the side first and then back the other way, so I'm trying to get as much as I can out of that. Uh, impact marker under, of course. And I'll try that with Super Pack Spin. I'm not sure how well this will do, though, because this is a really tight location, and it worked out just fine. <laughs> yeah, um, even the Lynx course is no match for me, I guess. Uh, I'm tied with Wiggler, and Wiggler is one hole behind me. That is that is not a good sign for Wiggler, but anyway. <laughs> um, 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 another kind of tricky sort of kind of landing area. Like, if you look at this here, you could either end up on the slope between the fast fairways. You could end up in the heath left because of the wind. I mean, he, excuse me, the heath, heath right because of the wind. But I'm gonna try and get it up that slope. Whoops, why did I hit auto? Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> Some days I just derp in weird ways. And yeah, I got it up the slope nicely. Now don't go down the slope into that heath. That's another problem as well. Alright. <laughs> By the way, fast fairway, when the ball is actually sitting on it, acts just pretty much like regular fairway. But other than that, it, it's just mainly there to really speed up the ball's roll that you can either use for trick shots to get more distance out of your shots or to get you in trouble. <laughs> Which more often than not it is set up to do that but it's possible to do it. Ooh, the wind could have been further right than I thought. But I mean the wind is possible to do this uh, thusly. I mean the fast fairway is possible to do it thusly and yeah you get what I'm saying here. Anyway I'm gotta, gotta focus. Gotta focus. <laughs> Flat spot Aiming for it, nice and safe. Just gonna let the wind pull my ball over to it. And there we go. Well, that's a smidge harder than I wanted to. So I think there's gonna be a little teensy, teensy bit of break. So I moved it a teensy, teensy bit to the right. And 
I don't think I had to move that at all, really. <laughs> because did you notice that it went on, went in on the right side of the hole? Yeah. Anyway, hole nine. This looks pretty easy, but it's not really because it's really long. So I'm gonna do a power shot and hope I don't lose a power. Let's see here. That's good. Good enough to not lose a power shot at least. <laughs> Because, yeah, all I want to do is get it as far as I can, because I'm not going to reach that fast fairway no matter what. I went under the ball there at the bottom of my corner because of the wind to get as much out of it as I could. But, you know, it's still, <laughs> it's a long, long hole. I'm hitting into this with a four wood here. Uh, I think, oh, whoa, 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 what happened? <laughs> okay, oh, what? Why does it? Why doesn't that sound happen when I'm here, but it happens when I'm on this screen? Okay, I'm gonna go do the, take this a different way, I guess. Uh, maybe I'll have to go over it with a power shot again. I, I don't know. Uh, hmm, let's just try, maybe... Maybe rather than try and thread the needle, I should just be aiming for... Uh, like the left side of the green instead, maybe? Well, we'll see. I think I'll just need regular backspin for this one because there's enough running room for it to just kind of do its own thing until I get it to stop. Yeah, maybe I should, well, I was going to say maybe if I shouldn't have even backspin that at all, but eh, then it would have probably ran off past the back, like past that back ridge, excuse me. Ah, I can't speak today. Anyway, I got a birdie, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, this one, this one, pretty hard to control the ball's landing. Especially if the pin location is like back there, but uh, it's since it's in front I have this mound to deal with and if I hit the mound that could be trouble so I'm gonna try and f Clear it and backspin it. Uh oh, uh oh mound mound. Oh, I hit the mound. Oh, it worked out <laughs> The whole day is just gonna be saying oh well, it worked out <laughs> I'm gonna hit that harder than the mark and not really move the cursor because it'll take the break right off it. And call that another birdie. Uh, 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 oh, geez, this is treacherous. Like, here's a peep, just a little patch of heath right in the middle of the fairway. And you got some fast fairway that'll knock you down either into those slopes or in the pot bunkers. You've got this portion of fairway, which is probably the most ideal at this my current drive distance so I'm gonna aim for that because it's safest I guess with backspin even though you know I could still end up in the rough there but I you know it's just a matter of trying to go from one point to another and yeah I'm gonna have to use a power shot here for realsies this time to make sure that I can stop this stinker and on top of old Smokey the flat spot <laughs> Uh, that looks really good, actually. In fact, extremely good. Oh, 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 uh, a little bit more than I expected, but I could probably manage. I'm not changing the cursor or anything because it's downhill. I could take the break out of it by hitting it harder. And there we go. Uh, 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 so much fast fairway trickery. Um. I guess I should hit this fast fairway rather than try and hit the regular. See, I, me I immediately went to power because I wanted to hit the regular fairway so I had a more control landing, but I think I could actually live with this here and just let it roll on normally, you know, like without any sort of spin or anything like that. Because I don't think it's going to bounce far enough and far enough to get into any sort of trouble. Yeah, because it's just going to end up landing on the regular fairway after the first bounce and that'll slow it down. So there we go. It's a par 5 though, so... Oh, <laughs> this little cross of Heath over here. I've gotten into that a bunch of times because of that fast fairway and all sorts of other dealios that can happen there, like the slope. And I'm trying not to do it today by cutting back towards the front left line there. Yeah, there we go. That's some precision, precision shooting. And one more shot for the road. Uh... Uh, I'm gonna try and bounce it a little bit off the slope and backspin it, control it, of course. You know, the old drop and stop that I like to do. Yep, that's what I like to do. <laughs> and here comes the birdie, of course. Voila. And uh, yeah, I've 
got a pretty distinct lead ahead of Wiggler now, but we'll see how long that holds. Okay, I'll probably hold it until the very end, but... <laughs> um, I definitely want to be up there, so I'm gonna again risk losing the power shot, because it's just... it's not really worth it with my drive distance to go down over to the right, especially when I'm trying to go for birdies here, so... <laughs> it's just, oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! I didn't anticipate that. Because, I, I, yeah, I thought I... Mmm, well... Well, how about I go around this way, then? Yeah, uh, that's probably gonna put me in the water. <laughs> how about I go power shot, 7 iron, and try and hit over the tree... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay, I'm probably better off going around the right way. Uh, maybe not, I don't know. I'm just gonna hit it like that. <laughs> See how it goes. It's not gonna go on the green, because I put myself in a more awkward spot than I was expecting, but, well, there it is. Bunker is fine. Uh, Heath would have been bad, but I, I don't care about a bunker this close to the green or anything like that. Move it a little bit to the left. That's that's too far left. You know, I'm going for the chip in here. <laughs> I've got my eyes set on it. Uh, okay, that looks good. And let it rip. Will it go in though? That is the question. Oh! <laughs> close. But not close enough. The main thing was I hit it too hard. So, it, it kind of, yeah, it wouldn't have went in due to the speed and whatnot, but I, I had the line pretty close. Anyway, hole 14. And, uh, it's another one of those decision makers. I mean, look at the length of this hole. If you want to get birdie on this hole, you've got to really smash the ball. I mean, this is this is a straight out pin we're talking about here. There, there is no cutting corners. This is pure 454 yards right here. So I'm gonna try and get this out there as far as I can, but I don't know how well this will do. I just want it to get on top of that flat spot. Yeah, right up there. But I also don't want it to roll into the heath or bunker or end up on the mound. <laughs> <laughs> the very precise landing locations of this course. Alright. In fact, this course, I would say, is a really big difficulty spike, uh, like, for course design in general. Like, the, the mini games generally are the hardest things, but th when you get to this course, uh, compared to all other courses, this is like... Oof. <laughs> Alright. Got it on. I didn't quite get it to where I wanted it to, but I'm okay with this. Because I don't think I have to move the cursor at all. And no, I do not. <laughs> so a birdie is mine. Oh, not this uphill par 3. Look at how high this thing is. Look. Look at all this. It just keeps... Here's one... Look, like two sized hill here, two sized hill here, two sized hill there, two sized... <laughs> anyway, this is because it's so high up, like uphill. It, the thing about it is that it's hard to stop the ball when it's that high because it's going to end up coming in at a lower trajectory. So, again, I'm going to do my best with a power shot and super backspin. You know, this trick that I've been using for a while now. And stay, stay, stay. Yes. That will do. I moved it a smidge over to the right, and it drops. There we go. But yeah, that I I think I trivialized that hole the way that I played it. It really is a lot harder than I made it seem. And anyway, <laughs> hole 16, I think I'm not going to make this green in two. Although it might be possible. Uh, I'm going to try it for kicks. I'm going to try and get all the way up past the ridge and everything like that over to that patch of fairway there. The rough should slow it down so it controls it. Yep. Okay. Now I'm 250 away. Just got to curve around. Oh, no. I got a bare fairway lie. Dang it! Dang you luck of the draw. Well, I'm not making the green in two now. <laughs> oh, well. I guess I'm aiming over there then. Yeah. Just don't go in the water. <laughs> I, I won't go in the water though because the wind is going to help me carry it. But yeah, the, the water will mess your game up. Well, at least mess the hole up quite a bit. But I don't think it's enough to really mess me up at this point. Even if I bogeyed or something like that. Because I'm 
pretty far ahead. <laughs> anyway, I'm just aiming for the flat spot like usual. I'm just gonna kind of you know, plop it on there. Backspin to control it, and there we go. I wasn't aiming to get really close or anything like that, because I just wanted to guarantee my next putt, and if I tried to get close, I might go too far, and it would go down the hill of the green, and yeah, we'd have all sorts of issues. Ooh, that is the hardest pin location, I believe, that it can possibly be at for this hole. So, uh, preferably I'd want to be more towards the right side, but, you know, based on the way this fairway is. Yeah, you can see I want to be on the right side to get towards the green. I guess I could aim just for the center of the green and not go for birdies. But that just feels awkward, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, I guess I'll just aim short and hope that I can make the putt by aiming for the center of the green. I mean, if, if I play it safe, I'm guaranteed a par, but you know I love my birdies and birdie badges. <laughs> Uh, down and right, maximum power, and aim for the center, I guess. As I said, it, it this hole just wasn't really leading me in a very good position. So, yeah, it's, it's a tough hole. Uh, that's, that's pretty decent. And let's see if I can get it in. I'm gonna aim a smidge to the left. Harder past the mark, because it's way uphill. And, uh, birdie! <laughs> Why did I even doubt myself? <laughs> oh, a hole 18. This might actually be the hardest hole on the entire course. Um, as you can tell, you got fast fairways that lead to water, heath, bunkers, mounds, and they're all within people's general driving distance, so... It's gonna be very precise landing. I'm gonna try and land this just after the river, but just before the fast fairway, so it slows down. There we go! <laughs> Even with backspin, look at that thing. Because the fast fairway just keeps on rolling and rolling and rolling. Okay, 213 yards the hole now, but this, this approach isn't nearly as bad as the drive. The drive can get you in so much trouble. Uh, but yeah, when the pin location is here, especially, it, it makes the hole easier. But otherwise, <laughs> as you can tell, all I'm doing here is aiming for the flat spot, as usual. Not really aiming to get close or anything like that. Just wherever, ooh, that pushed it further right and further forward than I thought. So this could be dicey, but I'm moving a smidge to the right. A little past the mark, because it's uphill, and... Drain it. <laughs> Alright, 16 under par. I'd say that's a pretty good looking card. And look at that! Players are actually on their power this tournament! Can you believe it? Can you believe it? <laughs> well, I can believe it, but it wasn't enough to beat my score. That's a lot of experience points. <laughs> I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna level up her twice. Uh, oh! I don't have enough. Well, <laughs> I thought I would've. Okay, I'm gonna go for power. Wait, actually, no. I'm gonna go for the heights. Because I'm, I'm, I'm working well with the power. And for him, I will increase his impact and control. And there we go. Soon I will be able to call it a video. <laughs> but not yet. There's a ceremony to be had, and you're watching it. Thank you for the trophy. I will add it to my other trophies in the room. And also, I, I'm sure that I beat the high score of the Lynx Club. <laughs> And also, the credits happen after this, but of course, you know, this this is definitely not the end of the game. Is you know, there's much more to see, there's the doubles tournament, there's the singles match, there's the doubles match, there's more mini-games over at the Lynx Club, and all sorts of good stuff. There's even a quote-unquote, I guess you could say, post-game chorus of sorts. But, um, well, that... Oof. Actually, two post-game co co uh, courses, I should say. And why I say post-game is because they're after the credits, they're unlocked. But one is significantly harder than the other. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Um, well, actually, both are harder than the Lynx Club. But one is way, way harder than the full size 18-hole course after this one. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's, it'll be 
the game's ultimate challenge, and I am hoping to be able to pull it off. Chances are I will be able to because it's it's a little bit easier than its counterparts on the, the Game Boy Color thanks to having ball control and not needing to get a hole in one. <laughs> so you probably know which one I'm talking about if uh, uh, you've played that one. Because a lot of people have never passed, or I should say, have never beaten that challenge. See, to be continued, so it's not over. But yeah, a lot of people have never beaten that challenge that I'm talking about, including the equivalent one in this game, because of its high difficulty, but... Oh, I'll show you that it's possible. There it is. Well, okay, that's not the course, but... There is a new course unlocked. The Mushroom Tourney is now available in the story mode. That's one of the two courses, but that's not the ultra hard course that I was talking about. And yeah, as I said, I beat the high score, so there we go. Beat <laughs> Link's Tourney. I mean, uh, yeah, placed in the Link's Tourney. Got hole 17, excuse me. And of course, yep, Memorial Score gets hole 15. You can see how the unlocks happen as you go right here. 90 birdie badges, gives you that bad boy. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we go and play some more Mario Golf Advance Tour. Technically, post-game, I guess, I don't know. <laughs>